Hello and welcome to this week's video. Uh, last week I showed you guys a date picker in Excel that would appear when you double click any cell that is formatted as a date. It highlights the current day, allows you to select any day, month, or year, including inserting today's date, and it works seamlessly. If the cell is not formatted as a date, it doesn't appear. Now you never have to worry about formatting your dates correctly and it just makes life that much easier. A lot of you mentioned that you would like me to make this an add-in so that you can put it into any of your workbooks. And that's what I've done this week. So you no longer need a macro enabled workbook to use it. Notice this is XLSX, a regular workbook, and we still have access to it. This works exactly like the original date picker. I just had to update some of the code so that it would be add-in compatible. So now uh, let me show you how to actually install the add-in in your workbook. If you already know this, then just go ahead and download the add-in and you're ready to go. To install the add-in, simply download it, then put it in a safe place on your computer and go to file. And we are not going to get add-ins. We are going to options, which is just off the screen right now. Add-ins down here. Manage Excel add-ins. It's a drop-down menu. Make sure we have add-ins selected, then go. We already have it here, but you won't by default. So we need to click browse. The default location is going to be within Microsoft's add-ins directory. So you can put the file there if you'd like. I've got mine in a separate folder, but all we have to do is to select it, hit OK. If you've already installed it, you're going to get this pop up. But since you haven't yet, you shouldn't see anything at all. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And then it will be unchecked by default. Go ahead and check it. Hit OK. And you'll have a date picker. Now, if you ever turn it off, your date picker won't be there. So go back to the screen we were just on. I'm going to show you another way to get there. If you have a developer tab, simply hit Excel add-ins. Uncheck. OK. No more date picker. Now, the one thing about this is that this add-in will not send with this workbook. So once you send this workbook to somebody else, they will not have access to the date picker. However, it will make your life much, much easier because every single workbook that you now have on your computer will have this date picker for every cell that is formatted as a date or that contains a date. Uh, let's turn it on once more. And there we go. I'll put a link to this file below the video. It's on teachexcel.com and you can get it there. But for this video, uh, that's all there is. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.